Kia ora everybody, welcome along, Joe Holly here, Vibe Shift and Lift, and today I'm catching up with one of the men that you would have seen out in the scene for years and years and years, he is the celebrity <laughs> photographer, Nori Montgomery, how are you today? Uh, I'm really good, just been for a walk across the park, and uh, everybody's just chilling out, and just getting used to this new world order, so hopefully it won't last too long, but shit happens, you've just got to get on with it, I guess, eh? Now let's talk about, about you and about your life, man. You've, you've, you know everybody, you have photographed celebrities. Let's talk about some of the international celebrities that you have photographed. Bruce Springsteen, um, oh my God, so many, I just can't even think. One of the Kennedys came over here. But everybody who's been over here who's been of any significance are photographed. And any yeah. party of any note, I've been there. I know it's all gone. I know, it's all gone, it's all gone. Our event life is put on hold just for now. I do have an idea for you though, we're having a party oh. on um, on Saturday night, it's Jazz's party, we're all zooming in live, we thought we could pick you as the celebrity photographer. Can I do that? That would be fun. <laughs> um, um, it's been so good because I've been going through, like you've probably seen on Facebook, I've been going through, I've got tens and tens of thousands of images from over the past 17 years. And I'm just going to try and lift people's spirits by putting them out on Facebook, you know, and people are having such a good laugh. And it's been such a good feedback from it. So uh, I have got so many, I've got so many of you, so. Yeah, I, that uh, makes me think of one back in the day, FHM modeling and Colin oh. McClure Jeffrey pulling up my skirt on the runway. And I know you've got that shot. <laughs> I've got them all. I've got so many of Colin as well. So nobody is safe. Right? We're on lockdown for the next God knows how long it's going to be, so no one's safe. I mean, there's some photographs I've taken out that might be embarrassing to some people, but you know, I'll get to desperation, I'll just go, screw it, I'll just chuck them in. You could send them to them one on one, just flick it through to their inbox and be like, hey buddy, just um, giving you a bit of dose of goodness for your day. <laughs> oh my God, when I think of some of the parties we did in the early days uh, at CB Woodhouse's place, oh my God, those were parties. But I wouldn't do anything, I wouldn't throw anything out there that's going to uh, jeopardise anybody's marriage. So yeah, people like that are quite safe. Just good fun things, you know? Yeah, because it always is amazing, isn't it? Reminiscing about things, to so look back at a photo, and it just triggers everything from yeah. that moment. Oh, yes, I was dating that guy, and oh, look at that dress, and I was a size eight, and oh, remember that night I was so wasted, and I fell off the bar. I've got those photographs. And uh, in fact, I was going through my office today, and I found um, a magazine, Metro Magazine, from nine years ago. And it was a photo shoot that Monty Adams did down at Soul Bar. And it's got all the celebrities of the day on it. It's a fantastic photo. It's done in four pieces. And uh, I'm going to put it up on Facebook later. People are going to get a real laugh out of that. You've got to um, keep people's spirits up. You know, um, this is not the end. You know what I mean? Just a bit of a, a new beginning. But hopefully things will get better. In the, you know. I agree. I agree. We've got to stamp out that fear. Stand in faith. And just enjoy this time that we have here at home to create, yeah. to clean up the fare, to reminisce yeah. about things, to just go inwards and yeah. learn a bit more about ourselves. It, yeah, it makes you realise the small things in life are so important. You know, it's like um, I've had people say to me, let's catch up for lunch, blah, 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 blah. Now we can't do that. I'm thinking, sure, caught for lunch. So I'm going to make it a, um, a mission of mine to not put things off like that anymore when we get back to the good times. And things like, um, you know how people are keeping in contact just now by texting each other and all the rest of it? Actually phone them, because of text, you can't really, you don't know where their head's at. You know what I mean? They're through these real times. It's because you just, I phone people now and say, hey, man, are you? Yeah, come on, go, awesome. Catch up soon, you know? A text is nice, but the actual voice you actually hear. For it's 12 o'clock. Oh, sorry, that was my computer telling us what time it is. <laughs> okay, what I day is it? Computer. <laughs> computer. That's actually a cool thing that you can do. Thank you, computer, for telling me what time it is. Because you could set a little memo on your alarm system or something like, um, 12 o'clock every day, I'm going to find a friend. Something. Exactly. Exactly. Keep the communication up. I just thank God that we've got these communications at this time in our lives, like Instagram and Facebook and all, and all that sort of stuff. So you can keep in contact with people, even people who are overseas. You know what I mean? I've got dialogue going with people I lived overseas with, and I'm comparing what's happening over here with a good stance that our government has taken. And this governments overseas have not gone that far yet, you know. Mm. And I think people have just got to get their act together. And I was never a real fan of Jacinda, but God bless her, she's doing an awesome job. She, I'm so glad she's steering this ship because we're in real trouble waters right now, you know. Yeah, I totally agree. She's one of our um, really good buddies, and I can tell you on a personal oh, course, level, course, she course. is amazing. She's such right, a wonderful person. 
I, I have got photographs of Jacinta when she was just out and about. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Might have to start with those. <laughs> I remember the very first time I photographed Jacinda, and she's gorgeous, right? She's gorgeous, but she's a lovely, lovely woman. You would never have thought, like, in years to come, she would be leading New Zealand. And uh, when I first met her, I can't remember where it was now, it was in um, AIT Centre, some fashion thing, something like that. And uh, I said, so what do you do? And she goes, oh, I'm a Labour MP. I goes, oh my God, I thought you were a fashion blogger. <laughs> you know, because she, she just looked like a little fashion blogger, you know? Funny. Oh, well, I cannot wait to see all of these photos go online, Nori. Yeah. These are going to be just amazing blasts from the past, something to lift our spirits, to make us laugh. And then it'll be connecting as well. Maybe when you put the photo up and whoever you see in that photo, then you've got to call that friend at 12 o'clock and, hey, old buddy, how are you? I went Adam Bennett from High Life Entertainment because... He has been there all the way through all sort of growing up, you know, all the parties, all the events and things like that. So a lot of these images are coming from highlight parties. But I've also got great uh, parties put on by Tim Finn, Remix, all that, fashion shows. So as much good energy I can pump out there, people to have a good blast that. I'm going to be doing it every single day. Definitely. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Nori. I look forward to seeing these. I do not look forward to seeing the one of my ass online. Oh. Although, mind you, was in pretty good shape back then, so maybe <laughs> it's not bad now. <laughs> It'll give me inspiration. I'm just having a celery juice here in a wine glass, you know. Just oh my god, I think it's about time for a gin. Twelve o'clock gin time. Oh my goodness, I've been eating so much. I've been mum stocked up my car with some groceries and then threw me the keys at the airport from a couple of meters. And I have got food here, and I just I said, don't get me any junk food, mum. I'm going to get into shape. And um, <laughs> I've eaten the whole packet of Malacas. I've had five bags of chips. Like, I'm on a roll. So today I'm into my celery juice. <laughs> I think you're doing sort of a push-ups on your... your yes. Sofa. And on that note, while you're on the line, Nori, can you do 10 press-ups? It's the challenge. Two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven, seven eight, 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 nine, ten. Nailing it. Well, thank you so much, Nora, and I'll send you a link to join our party on Saturday so that you can photograph yeah, away. There'll be Shev, Aroha, all the yeah. crew joining in. So I'll see you yeah, there. And thank you for doing what you're doing to help everybody. Oh, yeah. you got to help out. Have a good one, guys. See ya. Thanks. See ya.